Yo, what's going on? 67 Letter Squad today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. Why does my voice sound like that? Or what the? <clears throat> okay, let's try again. Hey, what? Oh, no. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? 67 Letter. There we go. That, there's the voice. All right. Poseidon. Okay. All right. Good luck, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The triple upload I had yesterday, I had a lot of fun doing that, actually. It was really... Oh, <clears throat> it was really exciting to, like, wake up and be like, dude, I'm making content today, you know? Like, I'm, I'm actually putting out shit that I think <clears throat> people are going to love to watch. And, I mean, the, the patch notes... I, I really did think was going to get like 30,000 views. It has 3.6 thousand, but it's still, you know, it's still great. I'm still really happy that you guys are um, somewhat supporting new content, you know, because I've never done a patch notes thing like that before and you guys supported it. So it was really awesome of you guys. Oh, he's right there, isn't he? Just saw him. Did he use his two? No, he's got full mana. <clears throat> I really want to like get in there, but I can't because... Oh. He just does so much damage. Alright. He hasn't used a pot yet. Um, I've had to use <clears throat> four pots, so I don't know. This is not actually looking the greatest so far. At least he has to use his mana pot now, which is good. Oh, use both pots. Okay, good, good, good. He would definitely get this from me, so I'm just going to drop that. Luckily for me, I actually started with the 6 health pot start. Or I guess like 3 health pot, 3 multi pot start. Because um, it gives you so much sustain. Like health sustain. And I was really hoping that it would, it would go this way. Like, <clears throat> meaning that he would try to clear the wave and I would try to clear the wave and then at the end of the day he clears the wave a little faster than me but I have so much HP sustain that it doesn't matter you know that's kind of how I was hoping this would go okay well that's all of his mana it's all of his mana and his Aegis so I'm pretty sure we can get the red buff now. <clears throat> My autos do a lot more damage than his, so... Oh god, I suck ass. Oh my god, I had 5 health. I was gonna Aegis if that last auto missed. That last auto that I threw, I was gonna Aegis if that missed. I'm so, so thankful that it did not. I'm actually just gonna go Hastened, I think. I can't. Okay, well, let's just do this and then start Hastened. Oof, close call, close call. But at least we kept our Aegis too. <clears throat> Well, I guess not at least, you know, it's really, really good that we kept our Aegis also, because now I don't get insta-killed by a Kraken. And he got the red buff, but we killed him, so he doesn't have it anymore, so we're good, actually. It sucks that he got the XP for the red buff, don't get me wrong, but him not actually having the buff is kind of a big deal. Also, I can ult him and he won't have Aegis up. I wish he came this way. 
It would have been a free ass kill if he came this way. I'm really surprised he didn't go for the Kraken there and force my Aegis. I think he's playing a little too passive with the Kraken. If there's one thing I've learned from playing 800 hours of Poseidon alone is that <clears throat> Kraken is important, yes, but sometimes you just gotta throw that bitch out there and get the Aegis and, and call it a day. <clears throat> I think he's trying to get me to Aegis and then crack at me. Which is not the play. I will admit, he's gonna hit in the ones. Okay. Yeah, that was not the play, dude. He crackened and then 3 one And because of that, his his one missed. You got a 3 cracking one, man. While weaving in a couple autos. It's all about precision. And timing. Precision and timing. I guess Poseidon is less about precision and more about timing. Because you got some big ass circles that are pretty hard to miss. That I've missed <laughs> lots of times, but let's not talk about that. I have Hasten Katana. Dude, that's rough. He needs a gem. I'm actually surprised he didn't surrender there. If that were me on Poseidon, I would have I would have smacked my F6 button with my forehead probably. His blue's not up, right? His blue won't be up until after mine is up. Yeah. Might as well clear the little buff symbol so I know exactly when it comes up, though. Because at the moment, he can't do anything to me. And I haven't even Aegis this game yet. And I've been cracking already once. No oh, minions. Nice. Oh, his blue just spawned. I think he's got it. Yep, he just got it. I wonder if I wait here, can I just get a kill on him? He doesn't have Aegis. Uh, but he does have a Kraken that is pretty hard in CC. <laughs> Can I show them? Look at, look at boys. My little pups. She's staying with us for the next uh, three, four days because my parents are out of town. And this basement is like a whole new world to her because we never let her down here because she just goes and eats everything. He's actually really calm though. Which, uh, <clears throat> For those who don't know, I say she's actually really calm because she's the most hyper dog I've literally ever had in my life. She will not stop running and playing other than maybe one hour of the day. And that one hour of the day, she's just going to lay in your bed and wake you up. So, yeah. No. Oh, okay. We got the Aegis. He went Dynasty Plate Helm. 55 power. I mean, it's not a bad item, but it doesn't really help you, which is why nobody buys it. Like, the item stats are good for the gold, but it doesn't help you, like, build into a good item. It's just there. And with no passive and just base stats, yeah, it helps a little bit, but it's not going to give you enough to, like, 
catch a dub. He should be dead. Yeah. This guy doesn't like surrendering though. Big props. Most people surrender now, but I guess he's not one of those people. I'm really looking forward to this nemesis buff on um, to the three. Cause I used to love playing Nemesis. But then she got nerfed like a hundred times because she was so good in Conquest and now she's not good anymore. But this buff to her 3, with a 20% um, buff at rank 1, like level 1, it's so big. I think I'm gonna go get... I mean, I could go get Wingblade because he's clearly building into a Gem of Isolation right now. But Wingblade is so cheap, I'm actually going to go into a Genji's. And then I'll just start Wingblade. And because Wingblade is so cheap, I should be able to get my Wingblade about in the same time he gets his Gem of Iso anyways. So, we should be good. <clears throat> I wonder, can I do that? Oh, he's going Warlock Sash? What the fuck? I feel like I can't do this because he's just going to crack at me. Oh, yep. There he is. The man of the hour. You can't run from me. Ouch. Okay. Never mind. We got his sprint and his alt though. And I'm still not scared of him. Oh, I really wish that would hit me. Uh What did I say I was building X? Wing blade, right. We could go Toxic Blade too, but he only has Bancroft, so he doesn't really have a uh, bracer or anything that should warrant immediate anti-heal you know i can get that last item and be fine also i have my three and he doesn't have cracking so there's no way he wins this fight all right so now we kill him check we get the red buff check soon um and actually, I don't need Wingblade right now because he's building Warlock Staff instead of instead of uh, Gem, which is just I don't understand. But you know, whatever. I'm gonna just go into uh, Toxic Blade because it's a good item. I mean, it gives me a little bit of pen, gives me attack speed, gives me movement speed, gives me anti heal, all of which are useful. So yeah, I'll build it right now. I did think Wingblade was going to be more necessary early, but it uh, didn't seem to be. I'm pretty sure he's dead here. Uh, just kidding. JK, gotcha, didn't I? Get the red buff. Or blue buff. He's backing. Let's go do Bull Demon. He stopped his back. Oh gosh, oh that hit me. Ow. He's warded, boys. Oh shit. Come here, little shit. 
<laughs> okay. Um, you know, we could go Frostbound. It would be helpful, but honestly, I'm thinking we just go like Xy because I got enough movement speed, right? Like 10%, 10%, 10%, and then the boots. So movement speed's all checked off, but <clears throat> I could go Itchavolt, lowers attack speed, but he's not going attack speed. He's going ability based. So let's just go, um, let's just go some pen. He doesn't really have that much defense. In fact, he only has got 85, and this does have 15 pen on it. Maybe I don't need pen either. What the fuck do I need then? Do I just give him more defense? He doesn't have any pen either. If none of us have pen, I win the fight, right? Because I just press 3 and heal. But if we both have pen... I think he wins the fight. No, if we bought that pen, I win the fight. But if only he has pen, he wins the fight. I just healed the full off that that three, which was sick. Oh, he's going gem now. Now I'm gonna need wing blade. But maybe. I can hold off on the wing blade. I can pick up this kin size here. I can pick up this kin size here. That was his uh, Kraken. Really good. It means I get Bold Demon for free, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, because he still does way more damage than me. Like, way more burst damage, but I'm gonna try. Come here, boy. <laughs> Dude, I'm so fast. I catch up to him by walking when he uses sprint. That's obnoxious. My attack speed is so fast. Holy crap. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Alright. So I'm I think his health is still pretty low right now, but he is stacking warlocks and getting a gem. So now that he finished him, he's over 2k health. I think it's alright to go kins when they're over 2k. His bonus damage starts to scale up. Which means it's at 4% right now, instead of 5. Kins is also getting a buff, I think, right? Or maybe that was, um... Maybe that wasn't Kins, maybe that was another item. Uh, Ethereal Staff, I think, was getting the buff, not Kins. Damn it. The gem combined with the alt is just obnoxiously hard to catch up to. Die, you little shit! <laughs> Fuck! I can't... He heals through Aegis and Fountain and I forgot, so I thought that my auto was going to chunk the shit out of him when the Fountain stopped healing him. Uh, but then it didn't. So, yeah. Um, I do need a wing blade. A wing blade does give movement speed, so I'm losing eight percent movement speed, um, and some attack speed for this. But it increases my movement speed by twenty percent after it's procked. Oh, please tell me he's backing or going to towards my blue or something. He doesn't know where is spawning, right? Nice, he didn't know. Alright, sick. He has no Aegis now. Yeah, he wants to proc my... my wing blade. Go. 
just gonna crack him in here. Oh, GG. I don't know what he was doing. He decided that the best line of action was to clear the minion wave instead of get the nemesis off the titan. But titan does 50% damage and I have 2500 health because of my build and I'm really fast and attack fast. So I don't know. It was a little bit bad decision making at the very end there for him. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time guys, peace.